Hey everyone, welcome to Popwire. Today we are joined by Ainsley Seeger, who plays Jet Slootmakers on NBC's Law & Order Organized Crime. Ainsley, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, you are actually our first Zoom interview, so forgive me if I'm a bit nervous. Um, thank you so much for taking the time and uh, chatting with us today. Oh, all good. I mean, I'm honored. <laughs> Your show, Law & Order Organized Crime, is your first ever TV role, which is pretty awesome to have your first gig be a series regular on such a huge franchise. And all of this is pretty new to you. What has surprised you the most about the industry or the TV production process? Oh man, what a good question. I think what has surprised me the most about it is just how much work it takes to get even the shortest, seemingly simplest scenes done. I am, I mean, I'm, I'm constantly blown away watching the episodes back by the cinematography and the attention to detail when it comes to the makeup and the costume design, but all of the moving parts, I, I always had an like a logical understanding of how it all worked, but getting to actually be in the thick of it, I'm I'm much more cognizant of how important everything really is. You're still pretty new, but have you been recognized yet out in public or do you have any memorable fan encounters you can talk about? I have not I haven't been recognized yet which I'm actually really grateful for because uh, I'm not quite sure yet how I would handle that. Um, I have met up with fans of the show before who I met on Twitter because my whole, my whole life I've been doing the internet thing of like making friends with random strangers on the internet. Um, a lot of the most beautiful friendships in my life have, have come out of that. Um, so I met with a couple of fans of the show who are now my friends and that was sort of an, an interesting encounter because I know that doesn't happen very often, but I still very much feel like a regular person. But also I think half the reason why I haven't been recognized yet is because I really don't leave my apartment very often. Um, I much, I would much rather stay home and, you know, chill out with my, my cat who's sitting over there. But that's about the most notable experience I can think of to date that I've had with this whole being on TV thing. Is there a moment from season one that sticks out to you? Or are there any favorite moments that you may have from season one? I think my favorite moment from season one, it's, I think it's a tie between two different moments. The first one would be the development of the nickname Sloot. That is, I mean, it's in a GIF now. It's one of my favorite things from the show. And this, the story of how we got to there too was really, really uh, just like so much fun. Um, and kind of, we had a bunch of bits about it. And, but I think my second favorite moment, or maybe not second, I don't want, <laughs> I don't want Chris to think I'm dissing him. Uh, but my other favorite moment from season one was the first day that I got to spend on set, just Chris and myself when we were shooting um, our scene in the pilot where it's just me and him in my computer lair, my computer dungeon, and just getting to sit with him for a couple of hours and figure out who he was as a person beyond this guy that I've been watching on my TV for a really long time and was super scared to meet because he can be a little intimidating, but it was super, it was super awesome to sit down with him and talk to him and be like, you're, you're regular. And also you're super cool and funny and just very warm. I, I ended the day feeling very comfortable with him as a person. We don't really know much about your character, Jet Slootmakers, but if you could give her a backstory, what would it be? I have a couple of ideas about who Jet 
is and where she comes from and what her story is. I I never really was much of the person to write a backstory for a character until about my my junior or maybe my senior year of college and I started to realize like oh maybe this is like a little bit more important to me than I thought it was um not even in the sense of figuring out the entire life story but the little quirks that often make a person who they are um so I I have a I have a couple of ideas for Jet specifically like I have a pretty good idea of what I think her birth chart would look like. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, the, the couple of ideas that I have in terms of, you know, maybe what her, her family situation has looked like over the years, which I'm not too sure I want to get into. I might want to keep that for myself in the event that we ever do learn a little bit more about who she is. But um, also Jet you know she does give off the vibe that she kind of just appeared out of nowhere one day a full person like i can't really imagine what she was like as a baby <laughs> in last week's season premiere we met sergeant bill brewster he and ayana bell had a chilly past and he used to be her boss at narco where they clashed and butted heads near the end of the premiere they are both ordered to work together uh, as a joint task force as co-commanders. Will there be any kind of power struggle between the two that you can talk about? Absolutely. There will absolutely be a power struggle. And it's been really fun to play this kind of turf war with Brewster and his gang that he brings into the task force. Um, there certainly is a power struggle in that Brewster <laughs> Brewster comes in expecting very much to be treated like the head honcho rather than equals with Bell. Um, he does steal my desk, which I am still recovering from the loss of that because I had just started to get comfortable up there and then to have the rug ripped out from underneath me. But I think what's interesting about bringing in Brewster and um, exploring his his very tense relationship with Bell has been getting to figure out how Jet feels after not only spending season one with Stabler and Bell, but also the three months in between season one and season two with Stabler and Bell, and seeing how she now reacts to having new people come in and how um, how loyal she now feels to Stabler and specifically Belle. I've gotten to spend a lot more time shooting with Danielle this season, which has been such an absolute joy. And I've really discovered a lot of very, very protective energy coming up for me in, in the way that I, I feel about my sergeant, which is super awesome. I'm not sure if you've seen the show Scandal, but what was it like working with Guillermo Diaz? I actually, um, confession corner, I haven't seen Scandal, but I was a huge fan of him on Weeds and a huge fan of him on The Chappelle Show. So I was really excited to hear that he was joining the cast. He is such a gem we got to do a couple of interviews together i think a week ago um doing some like joint press and he's just so he's so fun and enigmatic and and effervescent and funny as a person that it's it's hard to it's hard to want to hate him <laughs> in the show as actors but also, I will say to his credit, I think it, it takes a lot of work to be a very kind and warm person and to play a character who sucks a whole lot. And he does a fantastic job. So it just goes to show really how incredible of an actor he is, that he can make you not like him. <laughs> this week's Law & Order Organized Crime is a special two-hour episode 
in the second hour, your character Sloot is tasked with locating another hacker and uh, you take part in an underground hacking competition to lure him out. And that sounds like a lot of fun for your character. What can mm-hmm. you tease about the episode? Selfishly, I'm also very excited for uh, next week's episodes because it was so much fun getting to take Jet outside and push her a little bit outside of her comfort zone, which has been happening a lot this season and is always something that's really fun to to explore with a character who is so uncomfortable with so many normalcies of life. And Jet really comes out of her shell gets to do a lot of really cool stuff. And I think what I'm most excited about is the introduction of our new hacker friend who was so much fun to work with. We had the best time. Hard to to play kind of this tense relationship with uh, because I like him so much as an actor, but what I'm really excited about for those episodes is is getting to see Jet be a little bit more independent and getting to see her. We we really will learn. We've seen it before, but I think it will be set in stone now just how good she actually is at all of this stuff, not just the computer stuff, but a little bit more of the inner workings of like what it is to be a detective. Awesome. And uh, you can catch the two-hour Law & Order organized crime event this Thursday, September 30th at 9 Central on NBC. Thank you so much, Ainsley, for your time and have a great day. Thank you. You too. This Thursday's episode of Law & Order, uh, what was it, <laughs> Law & Order Crime organize, Organized, awesome, and uh, you can catch the two-hour Law & Order Crime, Organized Crime, this Thursday on NBC.